So my name is João Freitas and I'm the head of business development at IGFI. Uh, I would say that the, the, the first good step to always start is always sharing my screen. Uh, it's always easier to uh, present myself and also the company. So basically, IGFI is an all-in-one communication platform for autos. We have been uh, working in the hospitality industry in the last uh, six years. Uh, so basically, just to give you an idea, the way that the company started, uh, we started basically because um, in uh, back in 2015, um, we were seeing that autos were losing a lot of money due to the fact of having a poor customer care. And that poor co customer care was basically found in three main uh, points that we wanted to solve. First, not being available 24 hours per seven. Second, not being available in every channel uh, or, well, uh, at least every uh, communication channel, such as Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, OTA, as their own inboxes, uh, which at the end of the day makes um, the customer satisfaction and the customer interaction a little bit slower because, of course, in terms of the reservations team, uh, they need to be always um, talking uh, in each independent um, space. And in the, thir the third main problem was the fact that we didn't have uh, in the hospitality industry a lot of KPIs uh, to the management and we wanted to provide much more. And so we basically didn't want to continue having autos taking decisions um, by basically looking for the uh, average uh, industry metrics. We didn't want that. So having this into consideration, IGF wanted to basically automatize, centralize and measure all the customer care of the autos. So in terms of uh, the company itself, um, as I was saying, uh, in, back in 2015, we were starting to have, but well, literally in, we started in 2016. Uh, and uh, just to give you an idea, we are right now in 1400 autos around 30 countries. Uh, so we are a European company, but actually uh, we have uh, hotels in Asia, in America, in Canada, um, and of course in Africa uh, and in Europe as well. Uh, and we were considered the most innovative tourist solution across accordingly with when WTO. 2020 was a good year for us and it was uh, really important to see the company growing. So we were able to grow 140%. And just for you to understand what are the brands that work with us, uh, we work with some brands from Accor, from Merit, uh, well, and a lot of other big chains. We don't work only with uh, chains, but also with independent hotels. I tend to say that we go from uh, hotels with just five to 10 rooms uh, up to uh, hotels with a thousand rooms, chains uh, with just two hotels until chains with more than 100. So basically IGV has the capability of adapting itself for each environment, being a city hotel or um, a hotel close off the beach. We have uh, all this kind of space to, to work and, and basically to improve um, the customer satisfaction within autos. So just to give you an idea about what we do, because, well, so far I didn't say uh, anything relevant about that. Um, we have two main products, what we call our chatbot pre-booking and what we call our virtual, virtual concierge. So our chatbot pre-booking is quite simple to explain. We implement within your website, within uh, the Facebook page, uh, a widget, uh, a virtual assistant that is able to automatize around 80% of all your communication. How we do it? Basically, when we start to work with you, we collect uh, the answers uh, to more than 120 different topics that at the end of the day will reply, as I said, to 80% of all the communication. What is the idea? To make sure that your customer satisfaction is much higher. And of course, that your reservation team is just uh, handling um, the questions that really uh, need help. Of course, IGF is not only uh, there to help um, to increase uh, the replies and, and to be faster, but also to improve the direct bookings. So basically, uh, we are integrated with the majority of the booking engines uh, to basically make sure that if someone is looking for a specific date and for a specific uh, room, we are able to push the price within the chatbot. So in this, in this moment, we are able to uh, make the experience for the guests. 
much faster and of course the usability, the usability much better. But of course, we don't believe of replacing people. Actually, we believe that AI should be used to empower people. So anytime that there is a question that we feel that there is a need of an agent to interact, we automatically pass the conversation to the team. In that way, we make sure that all the team is, will be handling the right messages. And of course, no question goes unanswered. I, I always tend to say that these pitches uh, just make sense uh, if we see uh, how to use. So instead of being just following these slides, I will basically um, make just a quick demo in a real version, in a real hotel, just for you to see how does it work. I select one of the hotels that I, I like the most is Hotel de Baixa in Lisbon. And basically, uh, you can see IGV solution here in the right button. So basically, the first thing that happens is that IGV appears with a message here saying, Hi there, how can I help you? This message is customized accordingly, not only with the page at the, the landing page that the, the uh, guests entered, but also according with the source. So imagine if you come from a Facebook ad, you'll be seeing here uh, also the same promotion that you are seeing in the ad. So in this, uh, this way, we make sure that um, you have somehow a landing page without changing anything in the source of the website. IGV is capable of adapting to your own brand and your own communication. So basically all these colors, all this flow, all these images are completely customized and the solution is able to talk in a hundred languages. So basically can be, talk be talked in Chinese, in Portuguese, in Spanish, in English, French. Uh, so all the main language uh, of the world will be able uh, to get a reply and a really good reply. So the first question that in this case, Hotel de Baixa uh, chatbot selected is if I need to some help to book my next day, I will click on yes. And I will just show you quickly, how does it work uh, to collect um, a booking request here? So uh, it is asking me if I want to check the availability or if I have questions, I will click on check the availability. And the following question is about if I want to make an online booking or if I want to request a quotation to the reservations team. So I click on online booking. And after that comes the question about check-in date. I can say, for example, tomorrow, check-out date. I can say, for example, the 17th of March. And after that, number of people and number of adults. So all the questions that basically the booking agent might need. So I inserted all this data and when I have all the data that uh, the chatbot or in this case the booking agent needed, I'll be able to see price and availability in real time. So you can see here uh, the junior uh, classic room. If you go to the right side, you'll be, other, be seeing other rooms. If I click on book now, I'll be redirected to the booking engine already with all the data uh, selected. So basically I will be seeing exactly the rooms that I was seeing within the chatbot uh, already with the price. So it's just a matter of uh, booking directly. But of course, IGF is not only here uh, to automatize this process of collecting uh, the booking. Actually, we are here uh, to help uh, people um, and answer the queries that they uh, might uh, have. So I can come here and make any kind of questions such as what time is the check-in? Or for example, do you have um, a restaurant, for example? And basically all these answers will be customized accordingly with your brand image. So I tend to say that they can be more fancy, less fancy, more traditional, less traditional, longer or shorter. So it's up to you to define it. You can add images, you can add, uh, you can also uh, add buttons. So it's literally up to you uh, to customize. Uh, and of course, uh, you can uh, have all the answers that you define. All these answers are customized within our back office that I will show you in a few minutes. Um, but before that, I would like to pass to our second product, our virtual concierge. So, as, uh, so, so far, I was talking about this pre-booking phase. What is this pre-booking phase? Uh, is the moment where um, the guests are basically understanding if they would like to go uh, with you or with other property, if they would like to book with you or uh, with any OTA. So what is important now is to understand 
how it would be interesting to use this kind of solution for uh, in stay so for to talk with uh, in-house guests so basically um, a few years um, uh, ago uh, we launched uh, our second product the virtual concierge as i was saying that basically the main idea uh, is to um, basically uh, connect with the pms and be able to uh, talk with in-house guests mainly through sms and whatsapp uh, we have been seeing more and more hotels to use WhatsApp during the stay. The problem was that uh, at the time there was no um, automation at all. So basically they were just needing uh, more and more human resources in the reception. Of course, with the pandemic times, this need of having a WhatsApp number available uh, increased. And with this virtual concierge, you'll be much, uh, you'll be much more able to handle all these uh, queries that are appearing every day. So what is this idea of the virtual concierge? Is to be able to send messages at the right time to the right guest to promote the check-in, the check-out, and of course, some upsellings and cross-sellings during the stay. So just to show you uh, how uh, does it look like, I always prefer to use, uh, again, a demo. So I will just uh, open here my demo account. In this case, my WhatsApp account, and I will push some commands. So the first command that I will push is to simulate that I'm a guest that will make the check-in uh, tomorrow. So imagine if I would uh, if I would be uh, doing uh, the check-in uh, tomorrow, I would like to receive a message today, uh, as we do uh, in all the flight uh, that we attend, uh, to make the uh, the check-in uh, faster and of course not being in a queue when I arrive to the reception. So in this case, this is a message customized uh, for you that we send to the guests. Uh, basically saying, hey, Joao, uh, welcome to our property. The check-in starts at 3, for example, and if, and if you want to make it faster, please just click here. This will be an online check-in form that will be completely customized. And of course, what is the idea here? To be always available to send the message in the language of the user. Again, and just, just to make sure that everyone understood, we connect with the PMS and we get all this data, for example, what is the nationality. So we are able to send uh, in Spanish if the guest uh, talks Spanish. So what happens from this moment? Imagine that you are a guest, you fill this online check-in form. And from this moment, what happens is that we are able to send a message saying that we receive the online check-in form and how uh, will be the next step in terms of using this number during the stay. What I always tend to say is that people just use uh, WhatsApp if they know how to use it. So this is the moment where you basically start suggesting, um, for example, that they can talk with you, they can request, uh, for example, transfers or um, for some services like spa or the restaurant. So from this moment, uh, there are two main uh, interactions possible uh, that we are uh, always seeing our clients. What we call our reactive interactions and the proactive interactions. So imagine, you are a guest, uh, you would like to have a transfer, you just need to come here and say, I would like, I would like to book a transfer from the airport. When I do this, I automatically be notified with the policy in terms of transfers, the pricing and the way of booking it. That will be, for example, in this specific case, uh, to indicate the flight number and the number of uh, people. So I just need to say, for example, my flight number is Ryanair123 for two people. And when I do this, I'll be automatically notified about uh, the, the person from the team will confirm the service and within your back office uh, at IGF, you'll be notified uh, just to make sure that your team can confirm the service. So at this specific moment, the uh, basically the message entered within our back office. You can have it here. And basically here is a message. You just need to come here. You see what was the interaction. If you are not able to understand this specific language, you can always translate for another one that you are more comfortable. And when you want to reply to the guest, you just need to come here and say, hey, Joao, your transfer is booked. You send to the client. You will know if the message will be delivered or not. And 
here it is within the WhatsApp number. Of course, uh, since we are an AI company, just to make sure that we are able to continue with this interaction with the guests, we always uh, request our clients to mark the conversation as closed when they don't need to say anything more to the client. Why? Because basically every time that there is interaction that your team needs to handle will be in the open tab. If uh, basically uh, we already automatize everything or if your team already ended it, it uh, will be basically in the closed tab. In this way, we make sure that the chatbot will never talk on top of you and that the user experience is uh, as great as we can. Of course, at this moment, you, can, you as a guest will receive um, this uh, message within your number, um, so you can continue make any kind of requests. But imagine, we tend to say that in hotels, uh, we just sell when uh, at the right timing, we can promote the right service. So imagine you have an happy hour today at five, or for example, uh, you have the room service without taxes. It's really important for the guests to know. So what uh, we can do, we basically can schedule message to be sent to the user according to a specific time. For example, you can invite that every guest that starts uh, or that makes a check-in today, will receive, for example, a message at 5 p.m. saying that there is an happy hour in the bar, or for example, that the room service is without taxes. You can also define that, for example, at the third day of the stay, um, the guest should receive a message asking if everything is according with the expectations. In this way, we make sure that the, the guest really receives in the right channel at the right time uh, the services that you have and that you believe that will be more important for him or her. Of course, um, IGV is not only here to promote upsellings and cross-sellings. Uh, and just a note, of course, we can integrate with CRMs to make the experience even better. And imagine uh, in the day of the checkout, can be interesting to send a message to the guest explaining how will be the next steps. Um, of course, thank you for everything. And uh, if makes sense uh, to show the, the billing data. So you can send a message, for example, um, in the day uh, of the checkout or in the morning say, Thank you for being with us. The checkout time takes place at 11. And uh, if you'd like to see your balance, the balance is here. Again, all these messages are completely customized. So you can show it, you can and not show it. It's up to you to define. From this moment, what is the next interaction that you have available? You have what we call uh, the message to ask the review. So you can send a message, for example, uh, a few hours uh, after or one day after uh, explaining how uh, will be the process to get a review and how important it is for you. For example, you can request in um, a major platform such as TripAdvisor or in, in any internal form that you uh, like to, to receive. But of course, more than just talking about the experience for the guests, is always to talk the experience for you. So I will just show you quickly uh, how does it work in terms of our back office. So our back office is uh, split in three main areas, the inbox, the report section, and the configuration settings. So basically what happens um, in terms of the inbox, as I was saying, you receive all the main uh, interactions uh, within the open tab. And basically you can customize, for example, the persons that will be receiving, uh, you can pass within different departments. Of course, we can assign uh, the interactions per topic. So imagine if someone is saying that there is a problem uh, with the TV, we can automatically pass the conversation to the maintenance team. And in this way, we make sure that the right message will be uh, delivered to the right person. So as I was saying, here is this uh, inbox section. You can see always the profile of the guest. For example, in this case, uh, we have here maintenance requests, someone saying that the TV remote uh, was not working and was automatically passed to uh, the maintenance team. You can see what is the language. You can pass message within uh, your team. The, sex, the, the following section is about the reports. So uh, within IGV, we really believe that uh, the hospitality sector should be 
more and more um, uh, able to measure everything. So within our report section, you can see from the team metrics because each person within the team will have their own login. So at the end of the day, you know how many message each agent we, is handling, uh, how much time is needing and the customer satisfaction. And in terms of the global metrics, you can split the metrics per property if you are a chain. And if you are independent property, you can see metrics such as number of interactions, automation rate, interactions per day, week, and months, the sources and the channels that you receive more traffic, the countries with more interactions, and at the end, what I believe that is the most interesting area within the report section, that is the engagement area, where you can get the data about how many bookings were you able to collect due to the fact of having IGF, the amount of that bookings. You can also uh, measure the requests that you received. So these requests are basically the ones uh, for the Insta, for example, people that is requesting the transfers, bar table, etc. will all the data be here. And on the right side, you can be the topics that receive more traffic. At the end, the customer satisfaction. So you can compare uh, compare the performance between the chatbot and the team and understand who is having the best and the worst performance. As I was saying, uh, we have also the third section, the chatbots slash configurations tab, where you can configure all uh, the replies that you'll give and also customize some settings. First part, we don't believe that makes sense just to uh, provide you the software. We also uh, provide you an account manager that will be handling your account and will make sure that your replies, your way of communicating is according with your brand image. And of course, uh, the chatbot is having a really good performance. So when you start to work with us, uh, we offer you the training and we offer this account manager always uh, with you. But of course, you have an 100% full control within our solution. Uh, so you can uh, define, for example, the language that you have available. You can customize the, the, the way that the chatbot is replying. You're can, you can define, for example, the business hours. So imagine if someone sends you a message out of this time, we can define a message saying that, for example, it will just be available at eight or nine of the following day. And in terms of the requests and the FAQs, as I was saying, we have 120 different topics within our chatbot that, then, that you can customize. Each property, if you have a chain, will have their own uh, replies. So imagine in this case, I went just to the uh, restaurant's uh, FAQ. What happens? Uh, here is exactly the description that you um, can use uh, to reply. And when you want to say anything or just change what is here, you just came here, uh, you just need to write in English, automatically it will be added in the language that you have more. You can customize images and also buttons. In this way, you, you are making sure, or we are making sure that your communication is really uh, um, according with your brand image. So, and just to sum up, uh, basically IGF uh, is able uh, to uh, provide you all the guest journey from uh, what you call the pre-booking phase or the consideration phase uh, until the post stay, we are there to make sure that uh, your communication is smooth, is simple, and you are able to sell much more than you were in the past. And of course, you are within the most requested um, channels, such as WhatsApp, Facebook, your website, with a really good uh, chatbot that I was saying in the beginning was considered the most innovative tur tourism solution accordingly with when WTO uh, in last year. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this demo and I hope to uh, talk with you soon. And if you want to know more, uh, you have here my contacts. So feel free to send me a message. And of course, Vinicius, thank you so much for this amazing event.